First thing in the morning, we got a flag top. Got my fish there. Nope. Damn. He freaking dropped it. Yeah, he dropped it as soon as I, uh, as soon as I felt him out. Hey. Well, that was fun. So it's, well, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let me get some lights on and stuff. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just woke up. It's 7.30. Beautiful morning. Sun isn't up yet. Um, had the tip up, as you guys saw. Pop off. Um, he felt me, so he, he done got off. Didn't have any other flags or any, uh, that thing didn't go off at all last night. Slept like a freaking baby, though. Oh, it was beautiful. This is such a, such a nice way to, to, uh, to hang out. Um, but for now, I am going to set the tip up outside with a nice meaty sucker on it for this morning. And then, uh, probably cook some, cook some, some breakfast. So, well, I'm going to go run out and do that get dressed. It's so tough to leave the uh, nice warm shack, but I need to get that done this morning, so I'm going to get that out and then cook me some breakfast. Bad one to start the morning with. Always forget to bring the freaking pliers. So now we just gotta grab everything and run back to the shack with my bike. Oh yeah. Well, there we go. 32 inches just gonna send him back. Nice fat pike in the morning. Doing well. Kicked off again. Woo. What a way to start the freaking morning. This hole has been just banging today. Today and last night, this thing was slamming fish. It's amazing. I, I'm gonna get a tip up reset, but mostly all my tip ups are a freaking mess this morning. So I gotta get that re restrung and set up real quick but let's get that done if you guys can think of a better way to start the freaking morning i want you to comment it below because i don't know if i can uh think of a better way to start the morning than with a fat 32 inch pike um i just don't think it gets that mu much better than that um i definitely definitely hoping today for some a little bit bigger fish um, a lot of them have just kind of been in that low 30s. I'm looking for trying to trying to get something in the upper upper 30s range. I'm, I'm really hoping for 40, but we'll see what happens with that. But for now, I gotta fix my friggin' tip ups. Oh, they are a mess. This one's covered in soup from last night. Um, if you haven't watched that, if you haven't watched the previous video, I would definitely watch that. Um, 
it will be linked in the description. Um, but I spilled a can of soup all over my tip up that was drying, so I'm just gonna kind of clean this thing up a little bit before I go ahead and put it out. I'm actually gonna swap out the, um, the quick strike rig for a new one that I have a bunch pre-tied just because it's getting a little kinked up um, and I want it to be nice and I want it to hang nicely and be fresh and there's no point in no point in not doing it to be honest just to be, keep everything working good I want to make sure all the stock is working no point in no point in missing fish unnecessarily. There, that's why I can't stress enough having those two tip-ups, one to hot swap and the other to uh, have in the in the hole so you have one that you can just kind of boom, 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 just because, especially after a big pike, the, all the line's stripped off, you need to rewind it, maybe even change your quick strike rig just because I'm... I don't know. I've gotten with this way with tip-ups. I don't know why it is where I get really uh, picky about how they're set up. Like, I don't like when there's kinks in the line. Um, and I mean, we catch a lot of big pikes, so I think it pays off somewhat. But we're using some new rigs, um, homemade rigs that I made. We've lost a lot of big pike with that fluorocarbon rig we we're using. It works great for bass and smaller pike, but we're losing a lot of the bigger pike so I switched to basically the same rig just with a piece of flexible wire I'll do a whole new video of talking about making those um, but for now uh, they're working pretty well wire does obviously kink which is kind of one of the issues with it so like here's a rig right here caught a lot of fish and it's all kinked up as you can see and that would cause a sucker not to be able to swim right so I just cut it off put a new one on there so that's kind of the strat with that, but I think for now, if it's uh, light enough out, um, I'll cook some breakfast. Show you guys what I'm what I'm cooking, what the chefs in the kitchen doing. Um, but uh, yeah, Hopefully that tip up goes off either in here. Um, well, actually, I want it to go off in here, so I don't have to get dressed to go outside again. Um, but uh, this is awesome. So much fun. I love this. Oh well, lighting got a little bit better. Sun's coming up. It's still pretty cloudy out, but I think I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I'm just gonna freaking fry up some some bacon and pancakes. Sound pretty good. So I'm gonna fire that up this morning, um, along with some some coffee. That sounds pretty good. Got a little, little coffee pot here. So, yeah, fire up some breakfast and wait for tippies. Wait for tippies to tip. See what happens. Can you name something better than chocolate chip pancakes uh, in the morning on the ice when you're camping? Because I sure as hell can't. But for now, I'm going to go to freaking pound town on this food. Like I say, every time I eat. But, yeah.
I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna shut the camera off and <sighs> eat breakfast. There we go. Little guy. By far the smallest pike so far. A little snot rocket. Send them back so it's soak the inside of my shack. Well, y'all, I went outside to take a pee, and this flag popped. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, fat pike. Send him back. Man, they kick off nice. Wow. Well, that was somewhat crazy. I now have zero lines in, zero cameras going, except for this guy. Things are just, things are just crazy. I don't even know what to say. Other than I need to get some freaking fish or more. I need to get some freaking flags in. Whew. All right, let's get that done. Well, um, got those two pike. Uh, that was a little bit crazy right at the same time. I know that one popped off outside. I kind of had to wait on that, so he got a little deeper than I wanted him to, but oh well. He's fine. So, um,. I'm going to clean up the tip-up mess that that one guy left after basically spooling me. Uh, and then i got to think about my sucker situation because I'm about out of suckers. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll call it early. I don't know. I kind of feeling like I could stay another night, but I don't know. So, still got to make that decision. And then, uh, yeah. Haven't got a 40 inch yet, though. All right, I'm gonna clean up this one. Asylum. Get in the guidance control of the missiles, Mr. Secretary. Here we go, y'all. Happening again. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a freaking pike. Another not huge but decent. Right there, not a bad one. Got the hook at him pretty easily. Yeah, not huge. 27 and a half incher, not bad. Jeez, wow. 
Wow. Whew. Well, time update for you guys. It is one o'clock. I've literally just been kind of, uh, well, hanging out, uh, editing videos actually, uh, waiting for tip ups to pop and whatnot. Haven't had anything since like 10 or so, so I'm thinking the bite's slow, but uh, I'm gonna reset this. I'm definitely heading out today. It's just, uh, there's no real point in sticking around for two days, so. I'm gonna pack up today, but uh, for now I'm just gonna reset this um, pretty quickly. Try to get some more before I uh, end up leaving. I wanna pack up in not too, too long, but kinda wanna get the video I'm working on done. So that's what's going on. But any day that pike roll through is a good day. Just almost seems like the potential in this lake is just like the biggest you'll catch is like 32. It's weird. It is freaking weird. Well, I am out of bait, out of battery, and basically all of my stuff is dead. So as fun as it would be to stay longer, I'm going to head out of here. Uh, I know it's only like 2 o'clock, but, or well, it's like 3, so, not a big deal. Um, yeah, I need to dry a lot of stuff out, so. I'm just going to pack up, pack up the shack, pack up the stuff, leave the tip-ups out, pull those when I'm done, and get out of here. But, uh, it's been fun. It's been super fun, but I think it's time to, I think it's time to head home. This is definitely highly recommend ice camping if you haven't tried it. A1. I'm going to get things packed up in here and, uh, yeah, head out. Before you go, um, I just want to say I'm editing this video right now. I forgot to uh, record an outro that day. Uh, a lot of stuff kind of happened, so I didn't really have a chance to uh, to record that outro. But I just want to say thanks for watching this series. Um, I released the first video and got a lot of support on that. So thanks to everyone who watched that and really uh, supported me on that. Um, it was a really fun video to film, fun series. Yeah, um, it's really great to see where the channel's going right now. I haven't really had a lot of chance to talk about it, but yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. So thanks to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed, shared our videos, continue to do that. That's, it's been great for us. Um, yeah, I have mentioned it on our Instagram, but videos will now be uploaded every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and every Friday at 7 a.m. And what that is, just an attempt to kind of schedule our videos out and not feel so overwhelmed like we need to upload a video like every other day like we were doing during kind of the Christmas break period so that's when they'll be uploaded um I hope you guys enjoy that if we have more time we'll upload more videos but just trying to stay consistent and keep those uploads coming out for you guys I think that'll that'll serve us that'll serve us good but any video suggestions leave those down in the comments um our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff will be linked down in the description. Yeah, thanks for watching this series. Thanks for thanks for coming with me on it. It was a lot of fun to film. I'll definitely do some more uh, camping and that kind of stuff. Here coming up, more catching cooks, all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.